Priscilla Batzell. This is Spring Hill, Florida, an Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. That is a 12 inch by 16 inch canvas. And I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula available on my Amazon link on the link tree underneath the video underneath show more to spread some paint. Also, there is these are whoa, <laughs> that was close. These are prison pour colors. And I just tried to clear this tip a bunch of times. Not sure how this is going to go, but I'm going to try what I've been thinking about and I'll tell you if it doesn't work, we'll do something else. So that was Pink Diamond. This is Passion. This is a primary element pigment powder I mixed. I mixed both the Vivid Polypore and the Vivid Enamel in with both the primary elements and the Prism Pores. And I know the colors are similar. This is Twilight Twilight Orchid. I could have fun just putting down dots of paint, I think. No doubt. I want to use some Chantilly Lace. I may have to start this all over again at the bottom, which is what I intended to begin with, to do two layers. And I wanted to use some black. And honestly, if I'd left spaces in between, that might have been helpful to me. That was the Frozen. This is the Blue Velvet. It was when it was open. It still is. If I can get it open. Perfect. And I could just put these out in a line, but I wouldn't get the stripey effect that I'm looking for. And I'm not even sure if I'm going to get it at this point. I've got a little cerulean blue. I've already gone past my, my original idea. And I'm thinking silver or gold. And this I'm just going to put right in. I may do some orange too. This is Orange Crush. I don't know how this is going to go. I want to turn the whole painting around and go the opposite direction. Sans paint chips. All right, here goes nothing. I want to wipe that off in between. I've just decided. Like all the way wiped off. So I can start on the black. And I am using a scrape dish to put my residuals in. And I guess I'm glad I didn't start with the bottom also, because I wouldn't have known where to go next. And that is the Tuscan Sun. This is the Chantilly Lace. That is something that does not belong. I've lost two sets of tweezers. I still have these backup pair. Good thing too. I have my cerulean blue. I think I want the 
Orange Crush with the Big Apple in it. Probably going to still put down some pink. I'm not trying to make it uniform as you might be able to tell. That's the pink diamond again, I said. Or not. <laughs> I'm being called to poinsettia, which is a very beautiful metallic magenta color. And I saw that place back here, so I kind of want some more. What else do I want? I'm thinking about some blue flame, which is a primary element. But I'm still also thinking about some cerulean blue. I'm wondering how this is going to go because I'm putting yellow near blue. So let's just find out. Actually, you know what? I've got some Midnight Shadow. I'm not sure about those colors. Well, I think what I'm going to do is put some gold in there. And since I'm here and I've got a fresh batch of African Violet, that's going to be my cure-all. You can't make something bad with African Violet, in my opinion. It's one of my favorite. I don't know if it's color shifting, but it sure is iridescent. Okay, so, assuming my spatula. There we go. One more wipe. Not sure how I feel about this yet, but I have got some colors in my dish. That's kind of cool. Makes me want to put black and white in there. Don't ask me why. Maybe just black right now. And see how it works. I'm not sure that's what I would call something that worked. I've got some paint in my dish and that will work. I've got some Chantilly lace. That'll probably work. So it's basically all bets are off at this point. Oh, I like that. You can go right down through. I liked it until the last stroke. Nope, no idea what I'm doing. Thinking about a toothy tool. Which might or might not be a good idea. We'll see in a second. Not thrilled. But 
There's plenty of room for improvement. And it just makes me want all the pinks that I originally was planning on. That's the pink diamond. That's some of the poinsettia. There's a little hot orchid, which is now jasmine and primary elements. Here's some of the pink lady. Well, it will be. What else have I got? I've got pink carnation. Who knows where this is going to go? I don't have a clue right now. something out of my hat right now that would be excellent. I'll just pull that paint chip out of that. I did mix up some frozen and I'm thinking that I might like to use some of it right now with some twilight orchid. And some blue velvet. I'm thinking gold. Don't ask me why I'm thinking gold. I'm just thinking gold. It's a good opportunity to experiment. I want more frozen. I'm beginning to like it. Never did put the gold in, did I? Gold and what? Pink carnation? of the blue midnight shadow it's getting better I think Not my best, not my worst, not yet anyway. How about some orange? How about, there we go. I do just like squeezing the colors right under the canvas. It makes me happy. teach me to have a much better clear clearer view of what I want. I've got Arabian Sea. I need something down here. Right there. This other color is very similar. It's Neptune's Gaze with Chantilly Lace. I've got a couple few minutes I think some more blue velvet. It's 
Something tells me nobody's ever gonna see this, although that could change in a minute. Might as well go for it. Do whatever it takes to make it work. This is that was the African violet again. I think I'm going to run out of time before I'm happy. That's the poinsettia. This is more blue velvet. This is more Arabian Sea. So, you guys should check below the video for 20% off coupon code for color art products. I think I might have mentioned that. That's kind of cute. It's growing on me. I could probably save this. It just might be longer than the video takes. So if it looks a little different, that was the... Um, Sour lemon with a little bit of orange crush. This is the primary elements passion. Usually I like to be able to um, shimmer something. Maybe this is just stage one, you know? And I can use my sticks tomorrow. Pop that bubble. I love you guys. I'll see you in on. It's growing on me. I like that. That's different. I want some more frozen. That did not work exactly as I was hoping. There's a little lump there. Oh well, the lines don't have to be perfect. They really, really don't. I'm just gonna do it again. Okay, let's see if I can shimmer that at you and maybe you won't be gone. There's some really pretty stuff in there. I'm thinking it's a stage one, but I could change my mind. I do have a bubble to pop. Oh, it looks really pretty from up here. Hey, <laughs> I'm not bummed out anymore. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you check my link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, all that good stuff you've heard before. If you'd like to see anything reproduced, just ask. I can add it. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all the time. Really appreciate them. That's cool. I like that little black gap and I like the lines. So that, that actually worked out in the end. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I love you guys. I'm probably going to throw a few more dots in here. So if you see them in the thumbnail, that, that won't be a surprise for you. That's probably exactly what's going to happen. Um, anything I haven't told you, you'll see in another video. What can I tell you? I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And the paint pouring mixtures recipes are underneath. Show more underneath the video. Um, <laughs> my Amazon link is on the link tree. And if you shop there, it's at no other cost to you. And it helps me out. If you make a donation through PayPal, you will be included in an op opportunity for a 15-minute consultation. 30 days from your, Within 30 days from your... Donation. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them. I'm not sure why the time hasn't run out, but my community board should show you tomorrow's video. And uh, whatever I haven't told you, I'll tell you in another video. Wow, I can't believe I didn't run out of time. That's bizarre. So anyway, this is really, really nice from up here. And um, I wasn't sure I was going to like it. I don't think adding the dots I have in mind is going to hurt it at all. Pretty sure. <laughs> Hoping I'm right. But uh, there won't be that many of them anyway. 